Hey everybody, I'm Evan Hammonds for Bloodhorse.com. Welcome to Trail Talk, the Breeders' Cup edition, brought to you by TaylorMade Stallions. Now, as we head into the Breeders' Cup, which is the first weekend in November at Churchill Downs, we're going to be—we're not going to be able to cover you know, all uh, 14 races, but we're going to try to hammer home uh, some of the highlights from over the weekend. Now, this Labor Day weekend, there was a lot going on, and we're going to start off with Quality Road and his uh, win in the Woodward, which was a uh, uh, pretty easy race for him. He, he won pretty much as expected. Uh, a good bounce back win after his loss to Blame in the Whitney early on in Saratoga. Now the, the key for this race was uh, is not the fact that he, he won as he should have, but the fact that he's going to go from here to the Breeders' Cup Classic, which is going to be about a nine week layoff. Now in the old days that might have been a concern back when the Breeders' Cup started. Wild again won the inaugural Classic off a two week layoff and uh, props to trainer John Veach, who won the second Breeders' Cup uh, with Proud Truth off a one-week layoff. The uh, three-year-old won the Discovery at Aqueduct, came back seven days later, and won the Classic. Now, time started to stretch out a little bit between starts. Uh, Sunday Silence was the first one to kind of stretch it out. He won off a six-week layoff. Uh, later on, Go Sapper uh, won, off, won the Breeders' Cup Classic off a seven-week layoff. And in 2007, Invasor, uh, was I believe it was a 13-week layoff. He, he had won the Whitney and didn't start till then. So the long layoff would have been a concern back in the 80s, early 90s, but I think today uh, that's just the way racing is and the way racing goes. And trainer Todd Pletcher knows better than us his horse and should get him uh, to Churchill Downs for the big showdown with Blame and hopefully Zenyatta in the Classic in uh, nine weeks from now. In the uh, two-year-old division, uh, everybody wanted to see how Boys of Toscanova would do in the hopeful, and he didn't disappoint. I wouldn't say it was a, uh, a, a great standout effort, but he looked very smooth, very professional, nice uh, easy action down the backside. Uh, you know, when, uh, when R Ramon Dominguez asked, he, he pulled away. Dominguez tucked, looked back behind him a little bit, and he ran pretty smoothly down stretch, pulling away from a uh, a very small field. A little disappointing that there were only uh, three other rivals in the hopeful at Saratoga, but boys at Toscanova again didn't disappoint and it's what uh, they'd be looking for moving forward. We're really excited about seeing him uh, going around two turns. Little did we realize that the uh, key to the weekend would be the two-year-old Philly division, but there were two very professional performances. First at Saratoga, our Heat Lightning, again with Todd Pletcher, this one uh, Joyce Robesham's Homebred uh, came from well off the pace to win the spin away and did so very professionally, but the uh, most impressive of the Phillies tell a Kelly at uh, Del Mar who won the debutante and uh, as a daughter of Tappet, uh, she was drawing uh, comparisons to Stardom Bound who uh, was a late running Philly two years ago who won the, the debutante, went on to win the Breeders' Cup at uh, Santa Anita over the Pro Ride. In the debutante, she, she got a good break there because there was a very, uh, very hot pace set by uh, uh, Wickedly Perfect, who was the favorite, and went off quick out of the gate. But Tele, Tele Kelly did a great job of uh, tucking back and looked very professional coming through horses, made a, made a great move on the turn, and just, just blew him away down the stretch. And uh, really looking forward to seeing what she can do on the dirt at Churchill Downs in early November. This has been Evan Hammonds for Bloodhorse.com and, and TaylorMade Stallions for Trail Talk, the Breeders' Cup edition. Thanks for watching and come back and watch September 20th when we'll have another edition.